it's Old Man Coffee. Thank you very much for returning to my channel. I appreciate it. Well, today is Thursday, and you know what that means. Trooper Thursday at the Westgate. So let's get over to the Westgate and get in that game. Frappuccino is courtesy of Tony Lee. Thank you very much, Tony. Sent me ten dollars through PayPal and said the next coffee is on me, so I bought me a Grande Mocha Frappuccino. So shout out to Tony Lee. This hand is very early in the game. I pick up King 10 offsuit in a big line. Well, it folds around to C1, and he limps in for two dollars. And then folds around to small blind, who completes. So there's three of us uh, I the to the flop. Well, I flop a 10, but I've got an overcard, an ace. So I just check it. See, one bets $3. Small blind folds. And I'm going to call $3. See if I can get a king. Well, no luck on the turn. So I check it. And see, one checks it back. Off to the river, which doesn't help me at all. But I'm gonna bet six dollars to find out where I'm at. And he calls a six. Well, he's probably got an ace. And sure enough, he's got the ace. Yep. Well, I'm on the button. I have a couple of limpers, and the cutoff raises to seven dollars. I have pocket deuces. I like small pairs on the button because you never know you might get lucky. And when I call, it folds around to C1 who calls and C2 calls. Now we're four players to the flop. Pretty nice flop for me. I flop a set of deuces on a rainbow board. C1 checks, C2 checks, the initial raiser is going to continue a bet, $10, and I think this is a good time to raise it, get these other two guys out of this pot, go heads up. I raised a 20, C1 folds, C2 folds. Now we're heads up. And the cutoff calls the $10.
Now there's a possible flush draw to clubs. And the cutoff checks to me. I bet $40. And he folds. Now in this next hand, I got, I got I'm in the big blind. <laughs> You're not raising free flop at four seven. Probably you were there. And I looked down at Pocket Kings. Got some limpers. More limpers, more limpers. Button folds. Small blind folds. I raised it to $12. And Tommy calls it extra ten. Hmm. I play with him every day. C one calls. Richard's talking about it. He calls. I play with him every day. These two guys could have anything. Pretty nice flop, but I don't like the diamonds. I flop a set of kings. I'm first to act. There's only one thing here. Shove it all in for $125. Uh, that was a <laughs> of course, Tommy talks like he normally does. <laughs> and folds. C1 folds and Richard folds. I think they had uh, some aces in there. Wow! And I go ahead and show it. What the heck. Now this next hand, I'm under the gun, so I'm first to act, and I look down at pocket aces. Well, I'm going to raise this up, $12, folds around to C1, who calls the $12, and everyone else folds, so we're heads up to the flop. All right, gentlemen, it is heads up. I don't like that board. He could have a jack, that's for sure. But the odds are he doesn't, so I go ahead and bet $25. He doesn't seem too happy. He's got some kind of a draw. And he lays it down. I show him the aces. Now this next hand, I get jack-10 of clubs. I like playing jack-10 because you can flop a lot of hands with jack-10. So I raise it in middle position to $6. Uh, right here, the cocktail waitress is bugging me for some, she brought my coffee, so she needs some money. I go ahead and make change out of Scott's stack, because all I had was five dollar chips in front of me. And I tip her, and then we're back to the game. Pretty good flop for me, and it checks around, and it's an excellent turn. Now I've got a royal draw, so I'm not getting out of this hand at all. It checks around to me and I bet $12. And C1 calls. Well, I don't make my royal, but I definitely don't like the board pairing. I've got a pretty good flush and for some reason I don't know why but I checked out a turn and he bets twenty dollars 
Well, got a pretty good flush, so I'm going to go ahead and call the $20. I didn't make my royal, but what the heck, can't do it all the time. I call, and he shows a queen, and my flush stands up. I'm in the pot. You see it? Oh, royal flush draw. Yeah. And straight flush draw. Well, you're probably wondering why I was playing in the 1-2 game and not in the 1-3 trooper game. Well, I just don't have the bankroll to play in that 1-3 game. It's a $500 max buy-in, and most of those guys do buy-in for $500. The 1-2 game is a $300 max, and so when I buy in for my $100, it's uh, more in the range of what I feel comfortable with playing. Also, the uh, players in the 1-2 game are a lot of locals, and I feel more comfortable playing with those locals. I do pretty well with them, play with them on a regular basis. And once in a while, we will get a out of town are playing, but uh, for the most part, we're playing against each other that we play with every single day. So uh, I feel comfortable with that. I hope that uh, the hands that I show you here in the 1-2 game will give you a little bit better idea of what I play like on a daily basis, uh, pretty much daily basis. Uh, I do play for the hours. Uh, 30 hours at the Westgate in a seven-day period, Monday through Sunday, will get you $200. Now, I actually did that last week. Uh, it was kind of grueling on Saturday and Sunday because I had to put in a lot of hours, but I was able to take care of that and get those in and get my $200. So, it's all about what I feel comfortable with playing, and if I don't feel comfortable playing in the 1-3 game, why play it? So uh, I actually did pretty well. I bought in for $100. The game only lasted about two and a half hours, and then it broke. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I would like to thank these folks here for supporting my channel. Without them, this wouldn't happen. I really appreciate them. Appreciate every one of you. Thank you very much. And leave a comment. I'll do the best I can to answer all the comments. So, this will be Old Man Coffee saying, Dream until your dreams come true. And I'll see you next time.